Hello my lovelies and welcome to Allotment of the Dead. So you see me here uh, in front of the alley house with this enormous pot um, which has been filled with a mixture of um, compost and um, blood fish and bone and you can see I've got it in the wheelbarrow. Only reason being is because this is such a big pot and it's full of soil or compost. Um, I'm going to find it really difficult to move this around. So um, I've brought down the um, the lilies. So what I'm planning on doing today is, is basically planting those lilies that I got from Farmer Gracie into this enormous pot. Reason why I've gone for a pot this huge um, is basically because um, you need something that's quite heavy um, that the lilies are in um, so that when they get to their ginormous size hopefully so these these um, lilies will hopefully get to around two to three meters high they're kind of um, big oriental style lilies and the flowers on them are huge and then so in terms of the actual plant itself and the flowers themselves they'll be quite top heavy so what i've done in this regard is get the biggest part i could so as i say i've uh, put some nice uh, bits of old wood actually that i've had uh, just kicking around the plot at the bottom and uh, a few stones just to again give that little bit of drainage at the bottom and um, we've got a variety of different lily um, bulbs and we'll get them all in this pot so i've got a lot of bulbs but they're all going to go in this one ginormous massive pot right so the first one we've got is this gigantium this chrono what was it called cardiocrinum gigantum so this is the himalayan giant lily so again i'll remind you what these look like in the uh, in the pictures um, so this one is again an enormous size bulb and generally what you want to be doing with these is you want to be planting them about three times the depth of the bulb so one two three so you want it kind of that far from the top so from here it's probably going to be right in the middle of this and then I'll sink it down to the top of this bulb and then when I fill it up with the um, with the soil it will hopefully get to where it needs to be so that is the centerpiece of this pot so it should grow the tallest and so that's kind of where I've put it center of the pot um, and then what we'll do is we'll get the other lilies and we'll put those around that central part so these are already started trying to grow so you can see these nice lovely shoots that are on them i want to try and tease them apart without breaking those shoots so what we'll do is we'll put those around the pot so i've got basically six of each of these types um, so what i'll do is i'll have a center of the big one and then we'll have these ones um pretty woman this one so these ones will be dotted around the outside of that and then right on the edge what we'll do with the uh, with the, i think this is just uh cocoa qua so we'll put that in there as well And the other pretty woman. And again, these will probably have started trying to grow again. Yep. So again, three times the size of the bulb. So by the time these again are covered with soil, 
they should look really, really good. Okay, so again, we'll just put that coir in there. Right, and then the bulbs for honeymoon, which is the other one I've got, will be around the same sort of size. There we go. So yeah, again, nice bulbs with the, uh, the growing shoot on the top. And again, what we'll do is we'll space those kind of in the spaces that the other ones have left. So again, three bulbs in each of these. So all of these are from Farmer Gracie. So they do get a lot of these um, different types of bulbs and things from there. So have a look on the website. You might be impressed with uh, what you can find on there. Right. And then just the last one now. Right. So again, nice big bulbs. And we'll put them around the outside of these. So I'll show you what I've got here. Let's just show you where that center one is. Okay. Let me just go and grab the camera and then I'll show you as to where we are with this. Okay. So if you can see, so that's, Basically, it's just a, a multi-layered um, different lilies. So the large one is there, sunk another bulb depth. And then these are the pretty woman ones. And then around the outside, we've got the honeymoon ones. So three different types, all in the same pot, massive pot. So hopefully all of these should be okay in there. And then we'll fill it up with soil to about that sort of level. Okay, right. Let's take you back to here. Sorry about the camera work, it's a bit rubbish today. Okay, so I'm gonna put all these little bits of sawdust that uh, come with this big bulb as well. Right, so I've got some Jack's Magic in here. Um, what I'm going to do is mix in some blood fish and bone, just one scoop. I've got literally um, a knackered trowel, what used to be a trowel. I've just got the end of it now. The handles literally come off a long time ago. So I'm going to put like a equivalent of a handful into the... Uh, compost give it all a good mix and then we'll fill up the pot okay we want to try and not displace where we've put the bulbs as we do it Right. So it's still quite um, early spring, uh, March the third, I think today. Um, just going to get a little bit more compost. Just to top that up a little bit more. Okay. 
and that should do. Okay, and then I'm going to take this into one of the polytunnels um, and then I'll water it with some of the rainwater out of the butt. Uh, we haven't turned the water on yet, it's still, as I say, the start of March. Our water, generally because of the frosts and uh, things like that, stay off, stays off till the end of March, just to try and make sure that we don't have any frozen pipes underneath the ground. Nothing worse for an allotment than having a leak inside the, uh, inside the plot. It becomes very difficult to try and find it. So uh, I'm not going to water it until I've moved it to where I want it, basically because it's heavy now. Um, by the time I've shifted it with all the, uh, if I'd watered it, um, I'd never be able to get it out of here. So uh, what we'll do as well, I've still got some strooch left. I'll give it a little top dressing with a little bit more blood fish and bone. Just a little, little bit. And then... I've got some strooch on the top, so when I water this, that moisture should hopefully be able to be kept in. I think the, you want, don't want to be over watering these because the bulbs potentially can, um, can rot. Um, so as I say, try and keep it somewhere quite dry. Polytunnel at the moment has got a few leaks, but I know there's an area at kind of the front of one of them where it's quite dry still. So even though I've got to replace both of the uh, of the covers this year. Right. So this will be into the polytunnel for now, and then uh, hopefully the um, the lily should break surface, and then. Uh, hopefully when the cold has really dropped off a little bit i can move this large pot right to the front of the allotment now lilies generally um they don't mind full sun in terms of the flowers but the base so this particular part here um they like to be kept a little bit cooler so i'll be putting this um uh, right at the front of the plot so hopefully there's going to be some other plants down there that will kind of grow up around the base of this pot so that you'll see the nice big flowers but hopefully the pot should stay a little bit cooler so uh, that's the farmer gracie lilies all planted um, hopefully we'll get some really nice flowers this season so uh, we'll see how that goes anyway all the best for now take care bye bye